The frick is that? Looks like trash. Looks like garbage. Check this. Out. It looks like a, a weapon off of a 12 episode anime. That you know how small that is. It's that's like, like an isekai. What, what an inch? Hey, yo, what? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What y'all compare? Hey, yo, he pulled out the oh, big one. Stop, stop. What do you mean by that? Hey, yo, it got thicker. <laughs> It got thicker. Oh yeah, check this though. <laughs> Dude, yours was huge and black. <laughs> Bro, I I don't I want. I just want to eat my I'm ramen so in peace, man. I just want to. I, I I'm so tempted to not cut that out. I'm keeping it in mind. I'm keeping it in mind. You should. Your channel's darker. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Fusion here, and I am with Fusion Bacon. Uh, I guess you can continue the intro. Wait, wait, why am I continuing the we're intro? Have, we're gonna have perfect fairness. Per obviously. Perfect fairness. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and join our Discord. Now, Timmy, you go over now. What Mainly the? Mainly my Discord. Anyways, no, guys. No, my Discord. So, <clears throat> speaking of Discords, today we're gonna be talking about the biggest project, the Fusion Squad, Fusion Army, whatever you wanna call us, has begun. This wasn't just us that worked on this. This was many, many people, and literally, what this is. Is, it's essentially we have made Shin Life into a full-blown Naruto world, but it's a little bit complex. Essentially, Bacon, if you want to go ahead and explain the clans part, I'll go ahead and explain the uh, system a little bit after that. All right, so essentially there's going to be clans, and all these clans are going to be built in with bloodlines. So there's going to be, like for example, Timmy, he's in the Akuma clan, so hey he'll be using an Akuma. Then like over here, then we have like Sin, you know, and then like all Maki, you know, there's all these bloodlines, and they all have their clans, and then they'll have have their leaders and their co-leaders etc now to me we'll go over that a little bit more you know later but basically you know each each place has like their own you know little clan of their bloodline and then for me personally i'm in the dawn which is the atatsuki when it comes to naruto and that's going to be a little bit more complex that'll be covered again later so uh is that is that all yes. you wanted me to say uh -huh. that's pretty much it and i'll go a little bit further in detail now okay so to go further in detail basically the reason why we chose clans and not villages is because villages would be even more complex as you know there is different like ranks of ninja it was too big of a scale right way too big of a scale so we decided we would do clans instead which is still a big scale but not quite as much so there is a ton of clans to go over but essentially the goal of this is going to be joining our discord server below mm -hmm. joining that and then immediately reading the rules which we'll go over a little bit soon and then you have to choose a clan that you want to be a part of are you going to be a part of akuma are you going to be a part of rengoku some of you are immediately going to be watching bacon's video or mine and thinking mm -hmm. you want to join don uh bacon i I'm gonna let you go ahead and explain that more because it's more of your expertise. Well, Don is essentially the Itatsuki, like we said. You know, we gotta take over Tel Beast. You know, you know that's gonna be later, but essentially, it's gonna be the best of the best. We're gonna need the best bloodlines. We're gonna have the strongest players possible. We need the absolute savages. Now, we have, I think, most players on our uh, Don, but we do like to kick off. You know, like remove, change, because well, we want the best of the best. We don't, we don't care for someone that will hold us down. We want the strongest. So there's always a chance for people to come in, even if they're. 10 you know in but you have to kind of you know make sure it's before this starts like before this series starts because the second this starts it's too late to join the dawn but the dawn is almost complete so you know after this video y'all got to be prepared to try and join quickly but the other clans is really where it's going to be at but this is just going to be a full-scale war when it comes to you know <laughs> what does dawn plan to do with uh this red-haired guy in front of me hey yeah yeah what <laughs> that sounds bad i mean i mean kill i mean kill <laughs> i'm talking about these guys you're you gotta fight them too. Oh, that's I not hard. I mean, I mean, all they oh, gotta do is. Bet? We gotta beat you right now. Okay. Um. Anyways, <laughs> back to what we were saying. Don't need to go to a war yet. Dawn is really not gonna be where you're mainly gonna be. If you're watching this video, chances are you're not gonna be able to get into Dawn because it's only gonna have about 10 people. And mm -hmm. we're gonna have thousands of people actually going into this. So let me elaborate. You're gonna to have to choose a certain clan. Akuma, Rengoku, Shizen. There's many, many different clans you can join. And basically they all have their own families of bloodlines. Some of them didn't get families like Karashi. I know a lot of people are going to want that. Karashi is a non-clan bloodline. You can still play, but you're just not going to be a part of a clan or an organization, which is probably the least fun way to play this. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Karashi is just like the, the solo people. There's a couple things like Bankai Inferno just came out. That's that's solo. Couldn't really put it in a certain place. I know a lot of people said it should go in the Dokai. We decided not to do that. There's a lot of little things that go into it. But to give an example, what you're going to do when you join this is you're going to join a clan. For instance, let's say you join Akuma. You can join you can join and use any akuma bloodline but only one mm -hmm. you can use one bloodline basically you have to go to a, apply to the clan and then you type in your name your 
I think it's like your bloodline that you want, the clan you want to be a part of, and then that's it, I'm pretty sure. You literally just put in your name, clan you want to be a part of, your bloodline, and maybe your rank. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you put the rank or not, I can't remember, but either way, essentially put that into that chat, and we have a headmaster and a co-headmaster for each and every clan, basically the moderators, and they will go in and they will let you in as long as you fill, you fill things in right. Now, if you use a non-Akuma bloodline or a non-Rengoku bloodline, and you're trying to go for Rengoku or Akuma, obviously it's not going to work. You can't mm -hmm. be a part of the Rengoku family and be using an Akuma bloodline. Mm -hmm. Now, you may be asking, what about evolutions? Can you use two of them eventually? No, sadly, not really. We will let people change their bloodlines when new updates drop, but only if they are a part of that family. So if a new Akuma bloodline comes out, they'll have the choice to change to it. But as for, let's say you're a Rengoku and you want to suddenly change to Akuma, you cannot do that. It's going to be a very more brutal experience in Shinno Life, but it's going to be much more fun. Essentially, there's going to be wars. There's going to be invasions. There's going to be battles to the death. Now, Bacon, would you like to explain Tailed Spirits? Now, or do you even know enough about them? Well, I know, I I'll, I'll say the gist of it. And if I miss any detail, just, you know, track back on what I said. So basically each clan uh, will essentially have a spirit spirit that they have to harbor to protect and my don you know our, our my don organization what we gotta do is we gotta steal it we gotta destroy that clan and take that spirit take it for our own because we, we we are essentially just trying to get all of the spirits in the game you know and collect them from each clan it's gonna be you know little wars every year there's gonna be it's gonna be insane now when it comes down to things each clan again will probably have what was it one or two uh how, how many have does one each? headmaster mm -hmm. and one co-master and each of them is going to have let's say me i'm the i'm the headmaster i'm the main guy i'm gonna have a gen 2 core gen 2 Two is for all the headmasters. Gen one is for the co. Ah. So basically, you don't have to have both of those. Don only has to receive one, mm -hmm. and it has to be Gen two, which is the ultimate headmaster. Okay. Co headmasters are just kind of like a bonus thing. Okay. That's essentially how that works. So that's basically all you have to know about Toad Spirits. You can use your bloodline mode, however. So once again, for instance, I use Akuma. I'm gonna go ahead and go into that right now. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I had to turn my menu off my screen for a second. <laughs> so essentially, let's just say you join the clan and you use Bankai. I don't have the Bankai spirit right now, but essentially I can use any mode with my Bankai, which is still a really, really good mode. All of your bloodline moves have to be that of your bloodline, mm -hmm. which makes you much more, I guess, cautious of what you choose. And you're going to get better with that. You're really not going to be able to make those OP bloodline combos that are one hits, which another thing is you're not allowed to have one hit combos because it's just, it kind of breaks the game. No one mm -hmm. wants that. Breaks, breaks character too, in a way. We are going to heavily moderate all of this. So this is going to be a very well-organized thing. Mm -hmm. Every war is going to be declared there's gonna be allies let's just say there's two clans that are allied and they're both happening to want to war in the same place they can but the place being attacked can ask for help from another clan so it could get a little bit special now if, let's say one clan wins a war against another clan you're probably thinking what reward are we going to receive which is a good question. If a clan wins against another clan, they can take that clan's best fighter for their own, Ooh. no matter what. So let's just say Akuma beats Jokai, they can take the best Jokai member, not the headmaster or the co-master, but they can take any other member. So you can basically take their best fighter and make them join your ranks, which is really OP. It makes you just stronger and stronger your entire clan. Uh, another thing is that this, this whole entire thing is going to take place over a few different servers, but wars will happen in their own special servers. There's three world servers that you can join that's where everyone's gonna be hanging out in there's tons of different chats there's meeting rooms for each clan and no one can talk in any of the other clan chats other clan chats that they're not in so let's just say you're a part of akuma you can't talk in the Rengoku chat it's just ob obviously common sense basically your your whole goal in this is to choose a clan choose a side stick with it stick with one bloodline and prove yourself to be the best that you can do. That's all you want to do. And you're probably thinking, well, okay, if I can't rank up, what can I do? Try and show your headmaster that you are strong. You're going to have to train a lot. You're going to have to spar with them sometimes. They're going to have training sessions with you guys. And then also, you want to try and prove yourself in war. If you're good enough, you're going to be one of the few people that are selected in war. Wars are going to be 8v8s. That's what it's always going to be like. And you have one life in those wars. Thing is, is if you die, you don't permanent, like, permanently die forever. You just die in that war. And basically, you kind of contribute to the war losing. Now, let's just so you lose the war, you don't actually lose any of your members, except your best fighter is going to go to the other team, which mm -hmm. is not what you want to happen. Now, as for you guys, Don, I'll mm -hmm. let you go ahead and explain what you guys get all that. Basically, Obviously. we get the, the spirit. You know, we, we beat them, we get the spirit in the end, and that's what we're going for. That's all we really Bacon, care for. You remember what happens when... 
You guys get all of the tilt spirits. No, you know what? I want to let you say that. I want. I want to. I want to hear it from the one that's gonna lose and have it happen. Nah, no, no, nah, man. Get your yeah. butt away. Okay. Yeah, what? Listen. Bro, oh, yeah, my uh, God. No, I can't get up. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm clean. I, I think I'm gonna win this. Hey, Shody. Not, hey, gonna... Shody. Come back. Hey, Shody. Let's, let's get out of here. Hey, Shody. Come on. Let's go. Let's leave them. Let's. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> if they gain, if Dawn gains all the tilt spirits from every village, they're able to summon Tin Tails, which allows all of the Dawn users to have Tin. And guess what? All the clan members have no tilt spirits anymore, so it's way hard to fight. And then their final showdown is gonna happen, where basically they're gonna attack every village and they can permanently kill them, which will be in like months probably. It'll be the end of the server basically mm -hmm. if that happens, unless the clans can pull together and beat Dawn. If Dawn loses, which they have permanently, like if they die, they die permanently. Too. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's gonna be even. Whoever dies first completely is gonna be the loser. Yep. So and it's gonna be. You know, Don will be on top, and we know we'll have ten tails. We'll reign supreme, and you're no. just you're just gonna bow down. Uh, you know, the few that may live, you know, they're gonna I'll be scratch enslaved. My butt. Don't mind me. Uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll do it. Too. I'm... I'll, I'll do it. Too. <laughs> mm, this feels good. <laughs> no, no, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, there's a lot that's gonna happen in this. There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of things you're probably wondering. Most of it gets explained in the server but essentially there's going to be videos of wars of battles all that it's going to show the entire story from beginning to end on both of our channels it's just going to be two different perspectives mine's obviously going to be the akuma clan mm -hmm. his is obviously going to be the dawn which is going to be a little bit of everything honestly yeah. your series is going to be pretty interesting the, the going and attacking you know. different people mm -hmm. then you got us you know, each of us, our clans are going to have to do their own things, which what's interesting about mine is I'm going to have wars with other clans. I'm going to have alliances with other clans. But it's still going to be just as interesting, except for you have this supreme goal, essentially. Mm -hmm. I have to stop you, though, and I, I'm going to give you a hard time. I can promise you that much. So you're the Akuma, you know, head, right? You're the, you're the head of Akuma. Uh, yeah. Y'all have any plans of, uh, you know, making a, 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 a uh, Itachi? You know, just you know, decimating your clan, you know, being the only one of, like, probably like, three. Uh, what, what are you Bro, doing? no, no, <laughs> no, like, literally not, nah, man. I. But I, I, I have some inside people that said they want to be Itachi, and what they mean is betray does. you. I'm a little worried because everyone wants to be Itachi. Exactly. Like, I so... Naruto. Itachi was so cool. <laughs> I want to be just like him. And I'm like, oh, God. And I'm like, go ahead. doomed to die. I go ahead. I don't even have to bribe them. They just do it. I'm just like, hey, what makes props. you think that you're not going to have someone betray you in the Dawn clan? Oh, if they try, don't worry. Their legs aren't going to be there no more. Are you sure about that? Because like, I'm just saying. Oh, don't homie. worry. The, the, the other three members that's been kicked off. Don't worry about what happened to them. Don't worry. About Wait, what? Who? Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. You, don't you just made know. that up to sound intimidating. Nope. You just it's made true. that up to sound intimidating. It's true. Remember, remember, remember that, that one, uh, that one, uh, Akuma guy that was in no. your clan and then I took him. No, not really. And then he betrayed me so i oh well just like no he's he's not a part of uh this anymore uh, okay and <laughs> oh no one's scared of me <laughs> well i guess that's basically it just join the server go find out more anything else you'd like to say uh just make sure if you do join this you know followed by the rules don't don't go out of your way to just be annoying and mess up this whole thing because this is going to be for the fun of everyone for the fun on uh, our sakes and mostly for y'all's though because we you know timmy has put a lot of time into the discord managing part of this and the setting up of this so please yeah, just make please. it fun for everyone for youtube for people who play just don't don't make this chaotic make this make this chill make this chill yes i agree i absolutely agree and uh yeah just make sure to read the rules join the discord make sure to like leave a like comment and subscribe to both of our channels mm -hmm. and i guess that's it fusion timmy and fusion bacon signing out peace i like pizza no don't no, want that's tomatoes no, or pineapples stop. Stop. i'm no, gonna you make you stop. all die because you don't want me to <laughs> I just make the longer no he cut the outro he cut I the cut outro the